everybody, Matumbo here. Welcome back to the channel, and today we are playing a really cool creature-based life gain deck. I'm pretty excited to be playing this deck, but first, I do have a couple of quick, awesome announcements for you guys, so hopefully you'll uh, pay attention to these. So first off, we hit 2,500 subscribers, which is amazing. So that means we are going to do a giveaway, and I do want you to... Uh, to know that the giveaway rules and what the giveaway is about is going to be someplace uh, in the middle of this video. So please make sure you watch the whole video so you find out the details of that. So again, again, thank you so much for 2,500 subscribers. Um, and it's so super amazing. Uh, also, in addition to that, I do want to point out that the giveaway is going to be sponsored by a uh, great new local store here in the DFW area uh, by the name of uh, Nerd Holla. So um, I'll I'll hit about I'll hit on that uh, a lot later uh, in the giveaway as well. But I did wanted to uh, at least give a little bit of a shout out here first initially. But we'll get more into them uh, as well during the giveaway segment of the video. But yeah, so uh, again, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please, please, please hit that subscribe button, that like button, leave a comment down below, and as well. Uh, hit that bell icon to be notified of when these videos go live. So let's just hop right into this deck now. We are calling it Heliod's Citadel. So again, I know typically it's Bolus's Citadel, but in this case, we are going to take advantage of Heliod and his crazy amount of um, just enabling, um, putting tokens on creatures and whatnot. So uh, first off, let's just get to uh, one of the namesake cards here, and that's Bolus's Citadel. Uh, this lets us look at the top card of our library at any time, and we can play lands and cast spells from the top of our library. Uh, if we cast a spell from the top of our library, we're going to pay life equal to its mana cost rather than pay its mana cost. It's basically going to make our cards uh, potentially free from mana, but it does come at a cost of life. Um, but why is this really good in our deck? Well, we have a ton of life gaining when creatures come into play. We have four copies of Soul Warden, and we also have four copies of a Johnny's Welcome. So um, what we're trying to do is essentially get a few of these out in play, and then we're just going to start playing really cheap uh, spells from our deck, and we're actually going to be netting life and gaining life as opposed to just losing life. And then at the same time, every time we're gaining life, we're also growing our Johnny's Pride Mates and our Bloodthirsty Aerialists uh, into just giant creatures, and then we're going to be able to just swing in and kill our, uh, kill our opponent in one go. So we also have uh, Angel of Vitality to actually increase our life gain. So uh, if we would gain life, we gain that much life plus one. So our ones turn into twos, our turns turn, turn into threes, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, yeah, so we have uh, we also have just a few uh, early one drops for Healer's Hawk, you know, just a typical one one flying with lifelink. And we also have this um, this beast of a card, uh, Sarah's Ascendant. This card used to be uh, really popular in Commander. Uh, just because of, you know, you start your life total um, higher than 20 in Commander. So it's typically uh, immediately a, a one mana 6-6. Six, six. But in this deck, it's going to be a one mana 6-6 six, six we're, because we're going to be getting so much life. Uh, on top of that, we have Heliod again, uh, one of the namesake cards in this deck. Uh, basically a 5-5 five, five indestructible for three mana. And whenever we gain life, we get to put a plus one plus one counter on a creature. Uh, or enchantment we control and we can actually pay mana to give other creatures life links so uh, this is really good because as our creatures are going to be coming into play we're going to be just automatically triggering life gain and then this is going to be putting counters on those creatures and then just growing them really really big and then Heliod's also going to be giving them life link and it's going to be just this endless cycle of life gaining and growing our creatures and going pretty crazy uh, lastly we have a couple of a few uh, Arguals Bloodfast. This is good because we're going to be gaining so much life. Um, if we don't have a Citadel in play, this is going to allow us to dig um, for two life and two mana to draw a card. And we have one Ajani in the deck because uh, we can make uh, a few more Ajani's Pride Mates with the minus ability. We can gain life with the plus ability. And once we're at 35 or more life, we can actually just pay zero and exile him and exile all of our opponents uh, artifacts and creatures so super 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 powerful there so uh, rounding it out we do have uh, we're only playing 23 land because we don't really need a lot of land in this deck because uh, everything's really low to the ground except for Bolus's citadel um, 
but again we don't really want to draw too many land once we have the bolus the citadel in play so that's why but yeah other than that guys uh remember uh give away some some part during this video with all the rules and everything uh don't want to give away the time you're just gonna have to find it yourself and uh make sure you so you make sure you watch the whole thing and uh also make sure you stay until the uh, wrap up so we can talk about the deck so with that being said guys uh enjoy the video enjoy the gameplay and we'll see you guys soon Oh man, so <clears throat> this uh, crazy life gain deck. A crazy, crazy combo deck. Against the Berserker Gang. Now we're going to keep. Seems like a pretty good hand in regards to life gaining. I think it's the same no matter what we do here. And eh, maybe we play a Johnny's Welcome there instead. Yeah, so we're going to have a lot of life really quickly, and our guys are going to be really big really quickly. Look at that. He's already a 5-6. I mean, he needs to have an answer for that immediately. Uh, and if not, then... Yep. That was a super fast first game. All right, well, you guys didn't expect uh, a fast uh, minute and a half long game. I don't even know if it was that long, but we're going to go and do what we always do. We're going to hydrate. Make sure. Make sure you guys are hydrating. I'll even give it to you guys one more time. Hydrate. And uh, we'll make sure that our uh, <clears throat> opponent joins this game. There we go. Wrecked by Sen Senpai. Oh, man. I hope we don't lose to this guy. Opponent's going first. Ooh, that's potentially not good. So we definitely need to... Definitely need to get some land going here. Not drawing land is going to hurt us. As much as I want to get a <clears throat> a planes here so we could double drop. I think we have to, I think now we have to get a planes, but I think we're just going to lose to that, right? Yep, yep. All right, so let's do a little bit different. We don't want to show him two of any one of those cards. That way we can just potentially reload if he uh, kills all these. Don't worry, I got this. Well, a swamp there would have been amazing. Now what? Now again, I don't necessarily want to do this, but I feel like we have to. No. We're not going to play the Sarah's Ascendant. We're just too prone to a Wrath. We need to have at least one creature back that we can play. All right. The fairy's back. There we go. That's what's up. All right. Well, he knows we have this. Gain some life. Just in case he has uh, some kind of removal spell. And it's tempting. God, it's tempting. All right, let's do it. 
Well, let's do it. Walk right into this, uh, right into the shadow of the sky. If it's a settled the wreckage, that's actually not horrible. All right, we're a little worse off now. Okay, well, maybe not. All right, let's see what we get here. We're going to play this. Now oh, we should have played it untapped. Should have played it untapped, guys. We could have drawn a card. He has to have a Wrath here, right? No time for a break. All right, to Fairy. So he gets the untap into a potential settle, but he does not have it. So, wow. I'm very surprised that an Esper deck could not deal there. All right. All right, we're going into the next game. Pretty stoked. This deck is performing well again, you know, on the backs of a couple of fortunate draws so far. Um, by our, our opponent's draws, really. I'm speaking in regards to them not really getting ways to deal with our cards. All right, well, we're going to keep this. All right, well, we are going to go ahead and go ahead and play Soul Warden. We know we know our opponent is going to be on a creature based deck since they played gutter bones first. So we're gonna basically make it every time they play a creature, we're gonna gain life. We are not blocking. Okay. While that guy is really good. We're really just going to negate the uh, the damage that he's dealing to us. All right, so we're going to take three, uh, five. Okay. Seems fine. Wow. This guy actually had a really, really good draw against us. So, um, Heliod or yeah, I think we can Heliod here. Uh, no attacks. So we're gonna take we're gonna take a pretty good hit here. Two, four, six, eight, eleven. Um, no blocks. That is actually a really impressive hit. So if he if he plays a creature, then I mean that's bad for him. Unless it's an obliterator. Obliterator would have been really good, right? So question. So I think we have to play this because this actually gains us four life and it turns on the Heliod. Now we're going to give that guy a lifelink. So is he saying good game to us or okay? Yeah. Yeah, once we get that online, it's just pretty hard to deal with. I really want to <clears throat> I really want to hopefully highlight what this deck can actually accomplish um, when you're just gaining life, gaining life, gaining life, and just playing all of the cards off the top of your deck for free.
Parker Pine. Okay. All right, we're going first, so that is good to see. We finally have a, uh, a Pride Mate draw. And he's probably thinking to himself, oh, okay, well. Probably got the Pride Mate, because that's, you know, that's what we pretty much say every time we play. This draw is actually lined up pretty well. He's just playing a basic just ramp deck. Okay. All right, we didn't really care about those cards. I did not expect a Merfolk Secret Keeper, though. All right. Throw that pride, mate. So as much as I want to play the other... Okay. So next turn is going to be a good turn. We're going to get uh, Soul Warden into Angel of Vitality. Or Angel of Vitality. Oh yeah, grow. Grow these guys. You're about to take a lot of damage, my friend. Oh. Good game. These are, these are, fast, these are fast games. There's going to be a lot of this. So. All right, everybody. It is that time. It is exciting. It is the time for the giveaway. And again, this giveaway is because we hit another milestone with 2,500 subscribers. And again, I cannot thank each and every one of you enough for uh, being a part of this crazy journey that we've been on for the past uh, couple months here. And we're growing so quickly. And again, I keep, I just keep wanting to give back to uh, to everybody. And again, thank you so, so, so much. Now, um, I do want to also thank the sponsor for this giveaway in this video, um, and that is going to be NerdHala Games. And this is a new store uh, in the uh, DFW area. It's located in Hearst, Texas. Um, it is run and owned by a f uh, some, of my, some of my greatest friends. I love these guys. Uh, they're amazing individuals. Um, you know, they deserve uh, as much attention. They, they do a ton for the magic community as well. Um, they've been a they've been a staple in the uh, magic scene in Dallas Fort Worth for quite some time, so um, please um, you'll see the link in the uh, description below for their Facebook page. So please make sure you give them an awesome shout out. Um, please go down uh, to their Facebook page and like their page. They uh, they do incredible incredible stuff with games, um, not only magic but board games and miniature games, uh, all kinds of stuff. So they, uh, I'm sure, Ellen Matumbo sent you. They'll uh, they'll hook you up in some form or fashion. Uh, just by being great friends is is enough. But <clears throat> but what are what are we going to give away? We're going to give away a War of the Spark box. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose three winners, and we're going to split this box three ways. And each winner is going to receive 12 packs of War of the Spark because I'm pretty sure that they still do 36 packs to a box. So 12 packs per winner. And yeah, so I, I think that's an amazing prize to give away. Um, again, thank you to, uh, to uh, Nerd Holla for sponsoring this. There are a few rules. Um, we uh, have, first off, you need to be a subscriber to the channel, uh, obviously. Um, we want to make sure that we're continuing to grow the channel and you know we just again we want to be giving back so uh, also like this video um, the more likes we get the more views this video gets and the more people uh, have uh, to be entered uh, into a chance to win this so I want to keep doing that as well um, comment down below in the comment section with 2500 um, you could put the exclamation you can put the um, you don't have to put the exclamation, but it'd be even better if you put 2,500 um, thanks nerd holla in the uh, comments. You'll get you'll get bonus you'll get a bonus entry if you include uh, nerd holla in the uh, in the comment as well as be on the Discord server. You do need to be on the Discord server because that leads us to our last rule and. That is in the Discord server. 
there is going to be a giveaway channel and you will need to post your YouTube name in the Discord channel. That way I can verify that you are a member of the Discord as well as uh, I can verify who you are and give you a shout out on YouTube as well. So, And that way I can also um, get your details before we uh, mail this uh, stuff off to you. So again, uh, do all these things, be a subscriber, like the video, comment down below with 2,500. I'll make sure the bot adds a extra uh, vote for you. If uh, you add Nerd Holla to that as well, be on the Discord server and post your YouTube name in the giveaway channel on Discord. So again, I do want to thank everybody. We're going to leave this up uh, through Friday and we will post the winner on Saturday's video. Uh, so on Saturday, be on the lookout for that as well. And again, and I'll actually, um, like I said, I'll leave it up till uh, through Friday. That way uh, you guys have plenty of time to uh, get all this done. So again, a uh, huge, huge thanks uh, to Nerd Holla uh, for, for this opportunity to, uh, to do this sweet giveaway. Uh, and again, just go like, go like their YouTube channel or not their YouTube channel, their Facebook uh, post uh, and their page because they are awesome, awesome guys. So, all right, guys. Let's get back into the gameplay. We'll see you guys soon. All right, well, we don't typically do this, but the games are so quick, it kind of feels like we just did it anyway, but we're going to hydrate again. Like I said, I know it's only been, what, a couple minutes, but give me that. Give me that hydrate. Hydrate. Deepmar the God. Deep Mar. Let's keep it. What's the correct ordering here, right? <clears throat> I don't know if it's a Johnny's Welcome or Healer's Hawk. I feel like it's probably a Johnny's Welcome, but I guess it pays to just either way. In this situation, it was better to. Healer's Hawk first. Alright, what are we playing against? Alright, well we're gonna grow this this bad boy up pretty quick. Already a four or five. Oh, you have a maelstrom pulse. That's no fun. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get that third swamp. Oh yeah, we got a four four. That's almost as good, right? Four five, four four. Now he's thinking, oh, should have got rid of the Sealer Hawk. Just don't have a ritual to sit. Ooh, holy moly. What are you doing over there? We're gonna. We're gonna deal some damage. We're gonna deal some damage and gain some life. Now, what is he gonna do with his Yarok? Man, that's a card that we need to build the deck around. Yarok. So a Yarok hostage taker. Ooh. How many times do you get to explore? You get four times? <clears throat> oh, are you trying to do the same thing that we're doing? Man. That was a good explore. I'm going to be very salty. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. I was going to just be really salty if he had a hand disruption spell. But that's two Maelstrom Pulses that are gone, so... There we go. There we go.
That's unfortunate, but <clears throat> let's see what he's got for our turn. He definitely has to deal with this uh, blood citadel or bolus of citadel. citadel. I want to just combine the names of all the cards that I'm talking. Okay. Wild growth is pretty good. Oh my god, really? Really? He drew three of those? And then we disconnected? Huh. Okay. Interesting. <clears throat> Again, we're back against Dietmar. We're at 16. So we're going to draw. Maybe we can draw a one drop. Oh, that's close to a one drop. All right, let's gain a little bit of life. Let's get our aerialist a little bit bigger than Jade Light Ranger. And are you seriously about to regrow one of these Maelstrom Pulses? I hope not. He might have like a Emergent Ultimatum or something here. I don't know if his deck plays that though. No, you're good, dude. I think. Your deck probably consists of a lot more, a lot more choices than ours do, does. So, all right, play. Let's play some good things. Mm, yeah, I think we have to just go the damage route, right? Um, let's go here, here, it's crazy just how that one draw, that one Heliod can make all the difference. The Yarok, that's going to go to the graveyard, land, do it again. Graveyard and that's gonna go to the graveyard. He's he's still alive and kicking. Wild Growth Walker is no slouch. Yeah, I would definitely swing in with that. So we're gonna take eight. No blocks. And let's draw us a white creature so we can turn on Heliod. Oh, is this it? No. And we are going to do the crazy. We're actually gaining life now. So uh, that's lethal now. And that's what our crazy deck can do. And then we also can sack Bolus' Citadel to deal a bunch of damage, but that's what we were looking for. That's what we were looking for. We ended the game at 39. Wow. Oof. That's crazy.
Man, that was really fun, that one game. Man. That one game is might be the only time. I mean, even though it was only, what, 60 seconds ago, that one game. All right, we're going first, so this has the potential. So I think it's better to have Soul Warden in play. Let's see what we're playing against. We haven't played Mono Red yet. Mono Blue, huh? So it might be better just to go White. I don't feel like he has anything you can cast because that came into play too fast. Blue green, blue green, blue green. Merfolk. Our deck is definitely slated to beat some merfolk. Especially if we draw some land. No attacks. Play a creature, grow that ascendant. He might he might realize that. So let's play an ascendant. We do have to be very very weary of these flash merfolk. Yep. Again. Good game. Now we are we are recording at night. We're not used to playing people this late. I don't feel like. Um, so we're seeing we're seeing a ton of different decks, and we haven't really seen anything that has a lot of control. So I'm really wondering if. People who play cards like, you know, like Ritual Soot or stuff like that, you know, play earlier in the day and, it, you know, the, the, I mean, it's a real thing, like daytime, the daytime meta and the nighttime meta. And I feel like we're, I feel like we're seeing that. It's kind of interesting. You guys, let me know in the comments. Do you guys see that as well whenever you guys play? Oh, he's playing Leyline.deck. All right, well. Should have just tried to get... Uh, all of them in play, right? And then Exodia does. All right, well, we're just going to play Johnny's Welcomes since we don't really have anything else going on. What is your deck, dude? Oh my god, this is amazing. This is amazing. Should have actually Fabled Passage there. 100% Fabled Passage, All right, let's go get us a planes. Gain a couple life. This deck already intrigues me. Like, I don't know what the... Obviously, I know what the black ley line is for, but red ley line. All right, so we are going to get a swamp. We're going to play Heliod, and then we are going to play Sarah's Ascendant, and turn on a bunch of stuff. All right, well. To the bottom. So there, if you ever have, tr if you ever have a treasure map, you should be scrying during your upkeep. Um, not all the time, just on that, on that third go, you know, if you're, if your hand's like that, it's, 
probably better to just go ahead and going to we're gonna get a bunch of life let's go this is pretty crazy Our guys are big. I don't know if it's worth blocking with the elf there. I don't really know what his deck does, but again. Those are some beefy boys. I bet he draws a card at least. All right, well, good game to you. We'll spare him the, the craziness and he actually let us attack. So good on you, Justin. Plain old Justin. Good on you, man. 71 life. Wow. Okay. All right, guys. Welcome to the wrap-up. And this deck killed it. Um, we went 7-0. Um, this, this is a deck that is super fast in regards to... Um, we're playing a bunch of really small creatures, but they are growing exponentially out of control so fast that the games are going to be super fast. So this is one of those decks where I really feel like I understand um, conceding pretty early on um, just because, you know, you your deck may know whether or not you can actually deal with one or multiple creatures that are just like five or six sixes on turn three or turn four. So, um, yeah, and that's why we had a lot of quick games. Uh, we did get to see the combo go off, which is really cool. Bolus of Citadel is super, super powerful um, in regards to being able to cast cards for free. There's also a uh, green-black variant where we're actually... Um, exploring and gaining life with uh, wild growth walker and other uh, cards that allow you to explore um, so um, we may we may look at that we may not but um, but yeah so bowls of citadel is super powerful um, but yeah so what did we like about the deck well we like the life gain aspect um, what did we not like about the deck um, i feel like maybe this deck needs another ajani um, I think I would actually the only the only change I would make here is I think I would cut one blood fast uh, for one more Ajani. Uh, that way we can actually just make that an even split. That way, so we're drawing a Johnny more because I, I don't uh, think in any of our games we we're actually able to utilize or even draw a Johnny, and that is because we're only playing one of. Whereas pretty much all of the other cards we're playing multiple copies. So, but yeah, so I would like to again thank every single one of you for watching the videos even if you're not a subscriber uh you should be but even if you're not still thank you for you know taking the time to uh, check out the channel and hopefully you will decide to uh hit that subscribe button um, again we're going to leave the um the video up through friday uh or not the, the video but the giveaway up through friday and i will be announcing the winners on saturday uh in the um uh, initially in the discord channel and then we will uh i'll reach out to the those winners and then i will um also make the announcement on my video on saturday um so everybody's aware um, but again make sure uh you know if you made it this far somehow and missed the giveaway you know go go back go back and watch uh the, the giveaway uh information uh that way you are prepared to uh, do what it says to do but other than that guys um you know, really uh, wish everybody the best. So uh, subscribe, like, comment, bell icon, do all those crazy things for me. And good luck to uh, everybody trying to uh, to win these uh, these packs of War of the Spark, uh, War of the Spark from this box that was provided to us again from uh, Nerd Holla Games. And uh, check out their information in the uh, comments uh, below. 
as what you know in the description everything like that they are an amazing new store that is owned by some really great friends of mine and uh you know they will always take care of you they've been they've been they've been at this for uh, quite some time so yeah so uh let's let's just really just get on with it and uh you guys enjoy your wednesday and you guys have a great day and we will see you guys next time Remember, this channel would not exist without such amazing viewers and subscribers such as yourselves. Thank you so much for interacting with the channel and help growing the community. And a big special thank you to the new Patreons that we have listed here for supporting the channel.